Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword, best day of the week. Today we're going to do the December 8th, 2022 crosswords and go for that 1014 day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Alright, let's do it. Uh, camp, opal, uh, spite. Pluto, so, Cal, and Magic. Hard time coming with Bogus here. And Cal. Is that on all cartons of Ben & Jerry? Or is it just one specific flavor? Pluto gets the call. Never heard of that book. Let's look up those two things while we're here. Whoops. Much bigger. Pluto gets the call. And Ben & Jerry's cartons. Pluto gets the call. Never heard of this book, but when Pluto was demoted, I was an adult. <laughs> Alright, it seems to be a well-known book. 4.4 out of 5 on Goodreads, and of course, okay, there are definitely cows on Ben & Jerry's ice cream cartons. Now that I'm looking at them, the cows look very familiar, but the cows are thinking the, the flavor. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Grant Thackeray today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Thursday is the, uh, the hardest themeless day of the week, so often includes some sort of a trick. But I'm looking at these circled squares sort of curving around like a fish hook. So, um, yeah, curious. Anyway, let's see what Grant Thackeray has in store for us. Let's get into it. Rings, Yens probably, this is a Yak, Twin or Grin, Evil Twin, It's All Good, and Pandemic Cause of 2009, Swine Flu, this is a Vow, this is a Kiwi, so this is No Worries, Big Name and Contact Lens, Care, I think it's for New, Time in the Dog Days of Summer, about 7 or 8 weeks before that. Okay, Mid-June and May, this is an Ani, literary character with an eponymous chain of seafood restaurants. So Long John Silver, but I don't know what's happening here. This is a yacht, moist. It's most itsy bitsy, teensiest, teeniest. Hey, got the Harbles dog is snurt. That's a cross for these. Oh, I see Long John, and then something is in this black square. I guess film production company founded by Steven Spielberg. Bale, so to speak, on an actor's studies. Maybe lines? Biggie Smalls here. It says leave. Arrived. Maybe came in. Uh, what was that? Seafarers. Uh, first of all, this is an N. Uh, just an N there? Just an I, rather? Hmm. Suave and sophisticated, urbane, uh, mariners here. So I have an an I happening there. I think harbinger. It's an omen. Glows orange red, neon gas. Uh, excuse me. Okay, Amblin there. Talking twos. Blank ket. I think it's etiquette. Dunderhead is an ass. Sound at a sounds at a fireworks show probably. Ooze or Oz? I think it's Oz. This is a tail. And country that lacks a US unofficial language in foreign It's the US there. So I see a flush something. This is earfuls. Uh, Mid July. Sorry, seven to eight weeks, of course. Uh, expensive shipping option. Same day. Yeah, and yawner there. It's a trap. This is Meg and Webb. Nickname for. Gotham City's prosecutor. Uh, isn't it the guy who becomes Two Face? Beginning or end for Alexa? Short A. Hit CBS series that, despite its name, was filmed primarily in California. No, it's not short A. A schwa. That's better. Blokes. Maybe lads. Could be said there. This is Soul. Come on, move it. And Owie. Butcher Birds. 
ponied up, so just paid. One with an eye patch, hook hand, and peg leg. A pirate. I see. This is the eye patch. This is the uh, hook hand. And this is going to be the peg leg. Let's go with said here. CSI Miami. It's going to be rhyme. Grave letters RIP. Uh, misnomer for Fritz in the original Frankenstein. Is it Igor? Scuttled. Double eagle plus three is par. Mega millions. No go. Like Blade Runner and Fahrenheit 451. Dystopian. Come on, move it. Shake a leg. This is. Strikes? I don't know. This is a stag. The bat. Throaty. Something is wrong here? What is this? What is a strike? Absolute dump is a sty. Um, impedes, hinders. One getting the talk, say, and you might see snow when it's disrupted. TV signal. Modern payment method is Venmo. Order to attack. Sikkim. One who's far from stone faced. Emoter. Uh, cocoon. In case. This is a tween. Hmm. Sick on, I see. No news? So? So clever, aha! This is LSATS, because I spelled that wrong. Beauty that's only skin deep is a tat. Top that. And a pop. Shake a peg. Alright, so we've got like kind of a whimsical theme. But the uh... There's a lot, there's, pun there's puns to each of these features. Um, because here, and, and what makes it like maybe potentially tricky is that there's sort of three different mechanics in this puzzle, and there's one instance of each, right? So this Long John Silver crossing Mariners, both of which are pirate related, I guess it's, it should be said. Uh, so there's this eye here, hidden, but this black square, so it's an eye patch. So that's a pun on eye there. This... Flush is like a flush in poker, so it's a hand. So it's a hook hand. And then this leg has become a peg. Um, shake a peg. And it's nice that it's, uh, you know, if you, you can't squint and see a pirate here, but, you know, the eye is higher than the hand, it's higher than the peg leg. So it's about the correct <laughs> layout. There's no real pirate that you can see, other than Long John Silver. Yeah, interesting. Not, not super tricky, but three different mechanics to figure out, all of which are kind of piratey. I mean, all of which are describing this pirate. Yeah, what the heck is a shrike, by the way? I guess... I guess it's just a kind of bird? So, like, a kind of chicken? No. So it's not butcher as in... Oh, I see. It's a butcher bird. Although here is spelled with no, uh, no space. Okay, so this is just a, a bird thing that I didn't know. And it's not about butchering birds or birds that butchers sell. <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, a shrike is like a kind of stage of a chicken. I don't know, like a, you know, a capon is kind of turkey. Or like a, you know, a game hen or whatever. Okay, a capon can be a kind of um, chicken too. Anyway, didn't know what a shrike was, but not really a bird guy. Regardless, it, it's all really quite easy, I thought. Nothing clued too difficultly. This mid-July. Mid-July is a bit awkward, Phil. It's like really, um, really arbitrary. And there's sort of nothing happening in mid-July, other than it's the dog days of summer. And this cross-reference, which I uh, miscalculated by putting mid-June, but... Interesting enough. We had Ina Garten in the Crossroads Ladies puzzle on Tuesday, uh, in a word ladder. But here it's in a heartbeat or in a nutshell, didn't even see that. Just got... just went with the downs. Honestly, maybe better as Ina Garten, because there's another in right here. Came in and in a... Uh, 
There's all this like teensy, itsy, itty, ittiest, itsiest, teensiest. All these different cutesy words for small that can appear all have pretty useful letters, I think, if you're a crossword constructor. Yeah, apes don't have tails. You can also tell by the shoulder joint. Basically, basically, apes have shoulder joints for hanging, and monkeys have shoulder joints for perching on branches, roughly. So we, we're apes, of course. The U.S. Theus. Surely there's some Theus that you could clue too, right? Reggie Theus. Oh yeah, Reggie Theus. Basketball guy. Okay, the U.S. Schwa, that's just the sound. Uh. Oh, protector. I really read that as prosecutor. So we've got the U.S. and the bat. And I don't really think Batman goes by the bat all that often. So that's a bit awkward, too. The, the blanks, neither of which is particularly pretty, but it does make more sense than reading it as Gotham City's prosecutor. Uh, so it's like Two-Face? Doesn't he eventually become Two-Faced? Two-Face. I actually don't remember his name, though. Harvey something? May as well look it up. Harvey Dent. That's right. Harvey Dent becomes Two-Face. Is he actually... He was a once a bright and up upstanding district attorney of Gotham City. So my knowledge of Batman mostly comes from the Christopher Nolan movies, and I realize that those might depart slightly from previous canon, so. Rhyme is just a layer of frost, essentially, I think. Yeah. We've got also got no news and no worries. A lot of like very very mild dupes here. Yeah, Fritz is apparently not Igor in the original Frankenstein. Igor is a stock character, a sometimes hunchbacked laboratory instance, assistant to many types of gothic villains. Most prominently portrayed by Bela Lugosi in Son of Frankenstein and the Ghost of Frankenstein. In the first Frankenstein film, Fritz served the role yeah, so uh, in the original 31 Frankenstein, apparently, it's not Igor, it's Fritz. It's, uh, it's a deep cut, but Igor, Igor is a common Frankenstein clue name in the crossword, as well as Inga in, is it Young Frankenstein? Young Frankenstein. Let's just look at all the uh, Young Frankenstein stuff. Cast. Yeah, Inga. Terry Gar is Inga. So Igor and Inga are two four-letter names starting with I that are clued as Frankenstein basically all the time. Excuse me. Funny. Snurt is definitely crosswordies. Uh, there's also Mortimer Snurd, who is a ventriloquist dummy. Um, I basically don't know anything about either of those other than it's crosswordies to know. The more crosswordies you know, the easier these things become. Yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting it's an interesting mix of mechanics today. Um, I don't love the fill here, but it was really fast and easy. I kind of wish it wasn't so fast and easy, maybe. Because, yeah, these days, the Thursday... The last few weeks of Thursday has been quite easy. Um, I like a Thursday that's a challenge to figure out and sort of delights me once I figured it out. This one was just sort of cute, I think. Not bad at all, but cute and, and not so much of a uh, mental challenge. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got Orioana. Always quite fast, always doing it quite early. No J today, no stickers, but we do have Cape God in 26 seconds and Andrew Cowboy Hat Emoji. Shout out to both of you. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.